Well, good morning, guys. It's uh, Pastor Steve here. I wanted to share a brief meditation with you from Galatians chapter 5. Um, today I was meditating in verses 16 through 18. It's a little bit shorter of a meditation, but uh, while it is pretty simple, it's uh, also very profound. Um, so I um, just want to take a look at these few verses. Um, but the Lord says here, I, I say then walk by the Spirit and you will not carry out the desire of the flesh. For the flesh desires what is against the Spirit and the Spirit desires what is against the flesh. These are opposed to each other so that you don't do what you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the, under the law. Um, it's an interesting uh, meditation here because what the Lord is saying through Paul is he's creating a distinction uh, between the flesh and the Spirit. And it, it's a real uh, dichotomy he, he's, he's putting up here that they are, they are the polar opposites. Um, so even going so far as to say, if you are led by the Spirit, you are, you are not under the law. Um, because the flesh, that which works towards your righteousness and your doing good, um, that desire to please God, that desire to do the right thing, um, that is never going to bring you satisfaction or contentment or hope or fulfillment. It is your choosing to walk in the Spirit, um, uh, that the spirit being that work which was already done for you by Christ that allows his spirit to live in you um, that is the the walk of the spirit walking in the spirit um, so this this walk of the spirit then focuses on uh, on on God's love is it says um Hmm. Probably so kill the desire of the flesh for the flesh desires against the spirit and the spirit desires against the flesh. Oh, he just says previously, right. He says, for the entire law is fulfilled in one statement. Uh, love your neighbor as yourself. So the, the, the walking by the spirit then um, is the focus on the uh, what is what does the spirit lead you to do in loving those around you? Um, and then loving God first with all your heart, soul, and mind. So this, this walk of the Spirit is not opposed to God's law. No, no, no. It's, it's in agreement with God's law, but the walk of the Spirit doesn't focus your attention on obedience to the law. It focuses your, focuses your attention on your relationship with the Lord, that, that relationship that enables you to walk through your whole life uh, with the Lord. Um, and so that, that's today, that's right now, that walk is now. So that walk in the Spirit is as you are going, being led by the Spirit. So are you choosing to love those around you? Are you choosing to love God with all your heart, soul, and mind? If you know the Lord as your Savior, you know what that kind of love is because you've experienced it, then you're able to determine whether or not you're living in love. You're able to listen to that leading of the Spirit. If you have no idea what it means to walk in the Spirit. You have no idea what it means to love, whether or not you're successfully loving those around you or, or whether or not you're honoring God with the way you treat them. Uh, you know, then maybe you don't know God's love and maybe that's a, that's the starting point. You say, okay, God, I need to know your love. Um, so anyway, this is a, a wonderfully simple meditation, but it's very complicated in the way that it plays out. Um, because when I desire things that I that I don't have or that God says I shouldn't participate in, that's called lusting. And then I can choose to go against God's law of love. I can choose to sin. And the point that Paul's making here is these things are opposed to each other. They're, they're not. They're not supposed to work. To, they're not. They don't work together. They're opposites. So when you make that sinful choice, when you lust after that which you don't have and you sin in, in your pursuit of what you think is going to make you happy, well, if you know Christ is Savior, then it's already under the blood. But you need to recognize that's the sin that drove him to the cross. That's the sin that caused him to be mocked and beaten. 
And so you cannot embrace his, his love for you and his sacrifice and that sin. It, it does, it's just not congruent. You, you, can't, you can't continue in it as if it's normal. Um, but to walk by the Spirit is to say, okay, God, because of all that you've done for me, because of your sacrifice, because of your love, I want to love those around me the way that I have been loved. So then that becomes the walk of the Spirit. Then, God, I'm embracing your love. I'm focusing on your love for me. And then how do I take that understanding and love those around me? Um, and so when you walk by the Spirit, then clearly you aren't under the law because you are fulfilling the purpose for the law. You're not bound by it. You're not bound under the commandments because you're fulfilling its purpose. Uh, good meditation for today. I hope you find it encouraging, challenging, and, and maybe even a little bit extra thought-provoking. But God bless and have a great day. Go in peace.